Hi, welcome back to my channel. This episode is entitled, The Power of Distractions. The Lord has laid on my heart to write about this thing. The dangers of being preoccupied with the wiles of the enemy. I pray for guidance from the Holy Ghost as I assemble the pieces of this post. I am reading in the book of Exodus from the time right before the conception of Moses. Let me enlighten you of the evils of men. There is a common theme in how slavery is conducted. It is of Satan. We are starting with a fearful but crafty man or men who actually feel menial and subservient. It is confirmed. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness, absurdity, stupidity before God. For it is written in scripture, he is the one who catches the wise and clever in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the humanly wise, that they are useless. Now a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph nor the history of his accomplishments. He said to his people, Behold, the people of the sons of Israel are too many and too mighty for us. They greatly outnumber us. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them so that they will not multiply in the event of war. Join our enemies and fight against us and escape from our land. As Moses started to perform the plagues ordered by God, it occurred to me that the sorcerers and magicians gave the illusion of duplicating the plagues. But they were hard-hearted, finite, and of so little understanding. It is not written that they ever attempted to undo them. Here is an addendum as I was reading in the Book of Jubilees. The question of why they never attempted to undo them was answered. As I give you this answer, it is just confirmation from God that the Spirit led me to make this distinction. And Yah did everything for Israel's sake, and according to his covenant, which he had ordained with Abraham that he would take vengeance on them as they had brought them by force into bondage. And the prince Mastema stood up against thee and sought to cast thee into the hands of Pharaoh. And he helped the Egyptian sorcerers and they stood up and wrought before thee the evils. Indeed, we permitted them to work. But the remedies we did not allow to be wrought by their hands. Knowing the futility of it, being innate, that even the inclination was not possible. As it will be infeasible that anyone or anything can overturn the Lord's coming judgments. Let me also add that it was Prince Mastima who encouraged Pharaoh to hasten his demise and the deaths of others. 
And notwithstanding all these signs and wonders, the Prince Mastima was not put to shame because he took courage and cried to the Egyptians to pursue after thee with all the powers of the Egyptians, with their chariots and with their horses, and with all the hosts of the peoples of Egypt. Yet I digress. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the fish that was in the river died and the river stank. And the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them as the Lord had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house. Neither did he set his heart to this also. Now pay attention. And all the Egyptians did round about the river for water to drink. For they could not drink of the water of the river. This is what the Holy Spirit is giving me as a confirmation. Number one, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Number two, even him, the Antichrist, whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And number three, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. The revelation being given is that when Pharaoh turned his back on Moses, he was turning his back on the living God. Many people mock, ridicule, and slight the prophets and servants of the Almighty God. Heed the confirmation and the warning. Number one, here the people were begging for a king, following after the heathen nations. To get a clearer understanding of the consequences, what some have called the trickle-down effect that we see today that is already severe but shall grow even more grievous. Read 1 Samuel chapter 8 verses 1 through 18. But my focus is on verses 7 through 8. The Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in regard to all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. Like all the deeds which they have done since the day I bought them up from Egypt, even to this day. In that they have abandoned, rejected me, and served other gods so they are doing to you also. Number two, 
and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. And number three, there shall no man be able to stand before you. For the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that you shall tread upon, as he hath said unto you. Distractions are powerful. If you are not rooted and grounded in Jesus, hiding the word in your hearts that you may not sin against him, you will not make it. Severe, choking oppression, death, and many other evils are yet to come. Those who loved when it was others that suffered as they reaped the benefits will come to learn that the devil himself does not discriminate. But no man will be able to say that there was no warning. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and you shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But you have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. There is no one that can save from the judgment of the wicked. Just as the magicians and sorcerers, nor any demon, not even Satan himself, can undo God's retribution. How can any stand when he turns his face and refuses to hear? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Always coming from a place of love and in truth. And again, I humbly offer you some additional resources as the Lord is bringing them to me. As this prophet has described, given to her from God, so that you may prepare for what is to come. Click the link below. The end times are upon us, and because of my love for the Lord and my family and for you, and the great sorrow that I feel as I see those around me walking in oblivious darkness and untruths. I feel compelled to provide Celestial's teachings to you. The links are referenced but inactive on the vlogs, but are available on the blog slash podcast pages of my site at benevolentwoman.com. Please visit Celestial's site, the Master's Voice Prophecy Blog. Thank you again.